Have you ever wondered how people create gorgeous desktop mockups? That's where your website is inside of a stock photo and it looks seamless. Well, today I'm going to break it down for you and show you how to create a desktop mockup in Canva, which is a free online design platform that anyone can use. Hey guys, I am Kristen, the stylist and photographer behind KF Stock Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to use Canva to add a screenshot of your website or of your artwork to those beautiful desktop mockups that you just bought on KF Stock. So specifically, I'm going to show you how to recreate this image that we have here on our homepage banner. So. The reason that I'm choosing Canva to start showing you guys some of this um, work on is because it is a free program, right? So you don't have to pay anything monthly, and I know a lot of you that are just starting out, you don't have to have Illustrator or Photoshop or InDesign or learn a fancy, crazy program. You can create a free account with Canva. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is either create that account or log into your account um, and head first to your dashboard. Um, and if you're going to be creating the website banner like we are now, we're going to go ahead and use custom dimensions. Mentions. If you did want to create this mock-up for a Facebook post or Pinterest, you can click into it here, click into the more. They have so many options down here. So Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and you can keep scrolling. But for now, since we're going to go ahead and create that homepage banner image, we're going to use custom dimensions. So you can find the custom dimensions of your image either once you right click on that image and you hit get info, you're going to find it right here. Or you can go ahead and go back to the product listing that you bought it from on our website and right here we have the approximate um, pixel size, right? So we're going to go ahead and enter that in here. And the reason that we wanted to get as close as possible is because we don't want it to squish to really, really small where it looks compressed or it looks blurry or it's massively stretched out where it looks really blurry. Um, so we want to get as close to that as possible, especially if we're doing it as a homepage image. If you're going to go ahead and shrink that down a little bit more for Instagram or for Facebook, that works completely fine. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to upload that photo that you guys just bought. So go here to the left to upload, upload your own image. And I'm going to go ahead and upload the donut desktop photo. And then we're going to go ahead and drag it over into here. And we're just going to make sure that it fills the whole screen. And Canva is really great about locking the dimensions. So if you go like this, it's never going to be off. Um, it's never going to be stretched in a weird way. So you can feel pretty comfortable resizing these things however you need to. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put in our screenshot. But first, we're going to take the screenshot. So um, I have... Here we go. I have um, the screenshot that I took for our homepage up here. And it's just... It's my photography portfolio on my website. So there's a couple ways that you can take screenshots. You can literally hit print screen on your keyboard if you have it. You can um, add a Google Chrome extension and this is the one that I have here and I believe it's called Fireshot. Let me just hover here. Yeah. Fireshot. Um, you can go ahead and add that extension and say capture visible part um, or you can go ahead and hold control shift 4 on a Mac and that brings up this little um, crossbar here so that you can literally screenshot specifically what you want on that page. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this up fully. I'm going to use this Google Chrome extension so that it's just really fast. Capture visible part. Went ahead and did that for me. Save as an image just to the desktop, and we're just gonna put test because that's what I always end up putting things at. Awesome, so we're gonna go ahead and minimize this again just so that you guys have a better view. Go back to our artboard here, and I'm gonna go ahead and upload that screenshot that we just took that I had added to my desktop. So test right here. And we're just gonna drag that in, and it's massive, so we're gonna just go ahead and shrink it down and literally place it over the image in the middle as best as we can, right? And click off, and that's it, you're done. You just need to export it. So you're gonna go ahead and go, oops, not to, not to share, but to download. Um, and you can do it as a PNG or as a JPEG, whichever you prefer. I, I love JPEGs, to me PNGs are really great for images that don't have a background. Um, go ahead and download that to your desktop and it will be done and ready for you to upload to your website um, or anywhere that you wanna go ahead and share that. Um, super, super awesome, hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to email us at hello at kfstockstudio.com.
Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.